Hi, my name is Charlotte Van Horn, and I am the founder of Black Expats uh, in Panama on Facebook. And I've just been wanting to make a video a uh, little bit about my experience in Panama and just happen to have a few minutes today. And I'm just, I don't know what's up with the Zoom. Every time I try to use it, it's like I look like a Martian or something. I actually have a green screen behind me and I'm still fading away. But anyway, I'm going to do my best. Anyway, um, I live in Brisa de Golf Norte and um, we have been there, we, we built in 2012. So we built in 2012 and uh, we have been transitioning there ever since. Um, I love Brisa because, well, I'll tell you how we ended up find, finding Brisa. Okay, so we found Brisa because we, we decided to look at some places in Panama for um, retirement. And um, we went to a place, and I want to say it was a while ago, and I'm not exactly sure where it was, but I think it was near Gorgona. And again, this was probably, this was back in like 2010 or 2011, the end of 2010, 2011. And as we were headed to see these supposedly new um, uh, developments that were coming up, um, I saw chickens and I saw dogs, you know, loose dogs. And I was just like, this is not where I want to be. And my husband said, we're not even at the place yet. And I said, if I got to pass by all this, you know, to get to my house, this is just not where I want to be. With that said, I know a lot of people come to Panama and they want to live in the beach communities. Um, that's just not me. Um, I represent the suburban chick. Okay, um, from a rural port out part of New Jersey, um, we uh, came to Panama from uh, Northern Virginia area outside of DC. Um, I don't like the city. I don't like living in the city. I like having access to the city. I don't like living in the city. I never want to live in the city. And I sure skippy don't want to live in a rural area. Um, I'm not a nature person. Um, I don't like a bunch of, um, I just don't like a bunch of stuff around me. And so I'm more of a suburban chick. I like to be able to walk to things. Um, and when we found um, Brisa the Golf, I fell in love. So we left the area, the beach area that we had headed to, and we were headed back towards the city. And um, as we were getting closer, um, it started to rain and my husband said, okay, let's just call it a day. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll look next time we come. And I'm like, come on, let's go. It looks like the sun is coming out down there. And I'm so glad that I persisted because we ended up at Brisa de Golf Norte. And out of all the places that I've ever been in Panama, and I, I, I think, I think um, Coronado Bay is, um, Really, we had some friends that lived there, and I really enjoyed visiting uh, them in their condo and being on the beach. Um, that was really cute. I have not really been to Gorgona or some of the other areas. I've been to Cologne, um, uh, the Cologne area, and um, some of our friends lived on the, on the beach there, and that was nice. But that's just not what I want to do every day. You know, I would like to have a beach area, um, like a beach home to go to you know, on the weekends or something like that. But as far as every day, that doesn't work for me. What I need is to be able to walk to things. And that is what Brisa de Golf offered me. Um, Brisa de Golf Norte is probably about 15 minutes, 15 minutes from the airport and 15 minutes from, um, from Panama City. So I like the convenience of the area. Um, you can walk to everything. I can walk to the Ray, 99, Mashitazo, IHOP, um, Do It Center, um, um, Italian restaurants, um, good, good sushi, um, you know, an urgent care. Um, I can walk to the hospital. We have a Brisa Golf Hospital. It's a brand new hospital um, built in this 
community. I can walk to the gas station. Um, yet, we live in a gated community, um, 24 hours security, and um, you have to sign in um, to come in. We live in a community that has a, uh, a homeowners association, which if you come in from the States, you're familiar with that. Um, homeowners associations can be inconvenient at times. However, comma, for me, I like homeowners associations because they, um, they just give more stability and, and more continued um, um, consistency in the neighborhood. Um, there is accountability as far as your maintenance and things like that. So our, our HOA fee is like $60 or something like that, um, $60 a month. And they're doing a really good job as far as keeping up with that. Um, the community that we live in is duplex. The whole community is duplex. It's cookie cutter. Um, people can make modifications according to HOA um, if they get the HOA approval. Uh, we've added on to our home already. Um, we have we have carports, um, and we have a uh, a clubhouse with um, two pools, a fitness center, um, and we have on site management. So that's really cool. I mean, it's a it's enough like what I'm used to in, in the states but not too much because I didn't, you know, I didn't move from the States to be in the States. I'm not one of those people who um, want to live around all expats. You know, uh, I want to be better at Spanish. It is challenging, um, but I do, I want to be better at Spanish. And I think that Brisa de Golf Norte is a good place because there's a mix. There's a lot of um, English speaking people um, but there's a lot of, you know, uh, Panamanians um, that you, you are going to be forced to learn Spanish. You know, it's easy to speak what you know. And, but I, I don't want to be in Panama and not be fluent in Spanish. So I'm really working on that. Um, what else do I like about um, Brisa de Golf? I like Brisa de Golf because it's clean. It's a very, very clean area, and a lot of it is new. Um, the security seems to be pretty um, prevalent. One of my friends came um, and visit from another area, and she was like, she had never seen an area in Panama where there were so many middle-class um, um, Panamanians. Um, I need color in my world, you know, so I know I have some friends that live in Boquete and Boquete is a lot of non-blacks and um, I don't have a problem with um, non-blacks, but I want to live with people that look like myself as well. So I like a diverse community. Um, I like the fact that there's a strong Afro-Caribbean um, community in, in Panama. And basically, I think that from the States, you know, you always get like, well, you know, where do the black people go? But, you know, it's not really like that here. Um, it's just like you have your own circles of friends and your, and your circles of friends are very diverse. But there are um, organizations that, that we have connected ourselves to um, that I really enjoy being a part of. And one of them is CIMAC. And it's, it's in Spanish, but basically it's the friends, the Society of Friends of uh, the Museum of the Afro Antillian. And I never say that word right, I'm sorry. But basically it's the West Indian Museum. And I just love it. Uh, we bought a group of like 40 people to Panama in 2021. And we stayed at Torre de Alba. Yay, Torre de Alba. I love Torre de Alba. If you're coming into Panama, it's a great hotel to stay at in the city. Um, and we went to the hotel, we went to this museum and, um, to support it and also to get the West Indian story before we went to the more commercial, um, um, Panama Canal. That was very important, um, to me. And, um, I'm also associated with, um, Afro descendants of Panama. And, um, so working with these organizations to just kind of see what we can do in order to be, an asset 
to the Afro-Panamanian community. And one thing about Panama, I think Panama has a lot to offer. It really does. And so one thing that I like about Panama is I, I like that it has a lot to offer. And I'm always very careful that I'm giving something back you know, to, to Panama uh, when, um, you know, when, when we're there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that there's like urgent care um, places for you to go if you get sick that again, is, you can walk to from um, where we live and we set the Golf Norte. It is a ton of brand new developments. Um, and those were some of the things that I wanted to say about um, Brisa. Like I said, I know everybody likes to come to Panama because they want to go to the beach or they want to go um, to, you know, Boquete where it's, you know, David, where it's cooler. But I like being in Brisa de Golf Norte. I have never been anywhere else that um, in Panama that I felt like I'd want to live. Um, also, um, Brisa de Golf Norte, because the hospital there, Brisa de Golf Hospital, services um, American veterans. So you have a pretty healthy community of U.S. veterans. And um, we're, we're veterans. My husband is a veteran of the um, Air Force. And, you know, he has found, he loves his doctors here. So, um, he was able to just transfer and, and get um, the health and service um, here. And so we are building relationships as we go. I started the um, Black Expats page just because I didn't really find things that I was interested in um, on some of the other pages um, that some of the other uh, Panama Expat pages. And let's just be real when you're when you're black and you go into to um uh, places that you don't know you look for different things like for us it's like who's gonna do our hair you know who's gonna do our hair um how do we connect with black culture here and things like that and i just found that you know some of the pages didn't really address that you know so i i like to be able to support you know afro panamanian businesses um, when I'm in Panama, when uh, we when we hosted an event, Sister Locked in in Panama, we used a um, quite a few Afro Panamanian um, um, vendors, and again, that's what I just think that we should be doing, and I'm happy to do it. So that's kind of my take on Panama um, for now, and it's kind of impromptu. But if you have any questions. Um, please feel free to reach out. Oh, let me tell you something that I thought was really interesting. When you're building a house in Panama, this is not, it's not like in the, in the States. And I think the thing that kind of caught me off guard the most was it, the house didn't come with fixtures. The house did not come with um, light fixtures. So that, that's really surprised me. So we get to closing because, you know, in the States, when you build a house, you know, it, nobody had asked what fixtures we wanted. So I just figured they went with the standard package. Whereas in the States, if you build a house, they say, okay, well, this is the standard package. These are the standard light fixtures. These are the standard faucets. You know, if, if you want to upgrade, these are your options. Well, nobody asked, you know, and I just didn't think anything of it because of what I was used to. We closed on the house and there was nothing but wires out the wall. So the first thing that we had to do was buy light fixtures for the entire house. Um, my husband is Panamanian and that's how we ended up uh, wanting to come here. And um, also we have a um, sister locks business that we are um, starting here in, in Panama, getting under underway. Um, but my cousin, from my husband's family, he said something to me a long time ago when we started this process of building the house and, you know, it was just so much drama to me, you know, to get the cable turned on. Some things just seemed so complicated in um, Panama. And he said to me, he said, Cheyenne, that's my, that's my nickname. He says, Cheyenne, he said, 
this is Panama. He said, everything you know about the United States, forget about it. This is Panama. And I think that was the best advice anyone has ever given me. This is Panama. And I love Panama. And I hope that you can grow to love it too and just tell the whole world about it. Looking forward to the end of this COVID um, shutdown so that we can possibly resume life again. And I look forward to um, additional Black expats meetups because we have had a few. Um, and I just hope to, to get together with you soon. It's good to meet you. Welcome to Black Expats in Panama.